For social studies in December, we are learning all about plant power. We've already learned about poisonous plants and pollinating plants, and today we are learning about prickly plants. Let's go! Chapter 1 Thorns and Spines Bright red flowers bloom among green leaves. What a nice plant! But flowers aren't all this plant has. It is called a crown of thorns, and for a good reason. The stem and branches are covered with sharp spines. The one inch spine poke anything that gets too close. Plants like the crown of thorns are very prickly. Why? Plants cannot move. Spines serve as a defense. Against what? Predators such as birds that try to eat the plant. Did you know that a crown of thorns plant can sprawl more than 6 feet? That's 1.8 meters. That is longer than an adult bicycle. Spines stick straight up on the porcupine tomato plant. These are bright orange. There is almost no way to miss them. The stems and leaves are covered with these sharp, dangerous spines. Ouch! They are also a warning that this plant has poison. Stay away! Take a look! Most plants have the same main parts. Prickly plants, such as rose bushes, also have prickles. These help keep hungry herbivores away. Oregon Grey Poly might not look very prickly, but look closer. This prickly plant has sharp spines on the edges of its leaves. How sharp? They can pierce through thick Skin. Animals looking for a meal learn a painful lesson. They need to fill their bellies elsewhere. Chapter 2 Spiny Cacti Cacti are some of the best known prickly plants. Almost all cacti have spines or barbed bristles. Some cacti, such as these ones, are completely covered in spines. It wouldn't be any fun to get caught in this prickly web. Is there a brain in that pot? The brain cactus has wavy parts that make it look like a brain. Look, but don't touch. Short, stiff spines cover it. It is smart to stay away. Did you know that cacti spines can be 6 inches long? Ouch! Chapter 3 Prickly Trees Trees can be fun to climb, but you may not want to climb the floss silk tree. Why? Large spines cover the trunk. They also cover the branches. Hungry animals have a hard time reaching the tree's flowers and fruits without getting hurt. It is best to avoid this prickly tree. Hungry animals might want to chomp on a honey locust tree's leaves, but if they are smart, they will find another plant to nibble and chew. The big sharp thorns on these trees can be 12 inches long. That is as long as a ruler. Did you know that soldiers in the Civil War used honey locust tree thorns? For what? for pinning together the torn uniforms. The thorns on a whistling thorn tree protect against large animals. Like what? Giraffes and antelopes, even hungry elephants. The thorns are long and sharp. Whistling thorn trees are home to busy little ants. How? Some thorns have round hollow bases. The ants chew holes in the bases to get inside. Prickly plants around the world poke to protect themselves. Where have you seen prickly plants? Let me know down below. Now let's go through some words we learnt in today's book. The first word is bloom, which is to produce flowers. Branches are parts of plants that grow out of the main trunk or bowl. Bristles are short, stiff hairs on plants or animals. Defense is the ability to protect from harm or attack. Herbivores are animals that only eat plants. Hollow means empty on the inside. Pierce is to make a hole or opening in or through an object. Poison is a substance that can kill or harm. Predators are living things that get food by killing and eating other living things. Prickly means having small sharp points. Spines are hard sharp pointed growths on plants or trees. And finally, stems are part of a plant from which leaves and flowers grow. Now it's your turn. Which prickly plant is your favourite? And what else did you learn about prickly plants in today's book? Share with me down below. Take some time to think about it. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.